Assalamu alaikum and welcome back. We were discussing module zero and in the previous segment we discussed introduction to human factors engineering. And from this session onward we will discuss some the very basics of human musculoskeletal system. And these series of discussions will lay foundation for our module one, that is physical ergonomics. So be attentive because you will discuss a number of terminology related to human musculoskeletal system. And that will be used actually uh, over and over in first module. So in this segment, we will discuss the anatomical planes and related terminology. So learning objectives of this, of this lecture include to understand structural planes related to human anatomy and some relative terms related to human anatomy based on uh, those structural planes. Now references for this segment and the following segments on the human musculoskeletal systems are these two very good books. First one is the facts on file, illustrated guide to the human body by the diagram group and engineering physiology basis of human factors engineering slash ergonomics by Corona et al. So first the word anatomy. The word anatomy consists of two words, ana means up or through, and tome means to dissect or cut. So literal meaning of anatomy are to dissect the body to see various parts. And that is sometimes the medical people do as well. Formal definition is that anatomy is the branch of biology that deals with the structure and organization of living things. In our case, the humans. There are two types of anatomy, gross anatomy and microscopic anatomy. The gross anatomy involves the study of structure of the body that can be seen the naked eye without using any instruments. Microscopic anatomy focuses on the study of the the structures of the body as seen using microscope. So in our course, we will focus on gross anatomy for the most part, especially in, in this module, uh, module zero, we will focus more on gross anatomy. So in order to actually understand the structure of uh, human, human body, we need some reference. So we have three reference planes, they are called structural planes. And based on these reference planes, actually we can understand the uh, organization and structure of human body. Now, what is uh, even the reference posture actually to, uh, to understand the structure of human body using these three planes? So that reference position or reference posture or what we call it anatomical position of the body is standing erect, face up and palms forward. So if I ask you, for example, what is the front side of your hand? It's a relative question. We, we need some reference. So that reference is called anatomical position. So you are standing erect. So word standing is even important that anatomical position is in the standing position, standing erect. And you can see the face is in the forward direction, not tilted, not bent. And, and the palms are on the front side and the body as a whole is straight. So that is anatomical position. The first plane that we will discuss is called medial plane. It has another name that is sagittal plane. So medial is more meaningful word actually. A plane that goes from the front of the body to the back is called the medial or sagittal plane. 
It's a plane that goes from front of the body to the back. And it divides the body in two parts, right and left. So I, I would encourage you to draw a simple sketch of a human body that consists of head and neck and, and arms and trunk and legs to, to understand the concepts that we are going to discuss. So draw with me mark different parts with me to better understand these uh, terminologies. So if we, if we draw the sketch, simple sketch of human, and draw a plane right uh, through the center of this, uh, this sketch, and that is a plane from front to back that divides the body into two portions, uh, in, in this case, for example, a right portion, this one, and a left portion so right and left with respect to the viewer from my my point of view otherwise of course with respect to the person uh, the sketch we are drawing of that will be opposite so two parts right and left so that plane is called medial plane or sagittal plane so again a plane drawn inside out right through the center of of the human is sagittal or medial plane the three more words that are important is that your arms and hand as a whole are called upper extremities. The legs and feet as a whole are called lower extremities and the center of, of the body below the neck and above the legs as a whole, that is called the trunk. So that is the trunk. Uh, upper extremities, of course, right and left upper extremities and right and left lower extremities. So these three words may be used somewhere as well. Now, based on medial plane, we have two terms. We have two terms. One is medial, as the name of the plane. This is the same word. And the other term is lateral. So A is medial to be, for example, we have two body parts. Uh, a and B. Now you can see that A is more closer to the medial plane as compared to B. So we can say that A is medial to, to B or B is lateral to A. That is A is more closer to, closer to the medial plane than B. And lateral means towards outside. So B is on the lateral side and A is on the medial side. So for example, I is medial to ear. I is medial to ear. And in the anatomical position, thumb is lateral to middle fingers. So if you have your palm forward, so thumb is on the outside that is the actually lateral side and middle finger is relatively on the medial side. So thumb is lateral to middle finger or middle finger is medial to, to the thumb. Second plane is the frontal plane. A plane drawn through the human body that divides the body into two halves, front and back, is called frontal plane or it is sometimes also called coronal and terms related to frontal plane are anterior, it starts with A, it is not to be confused with interior. This is anterior and posterior. For example, in the anatomical position, palm of the hand is anterior as compared to the back of the hand. That is posterior side of the hand. So if we draw the side view and, and draw a plane in this case, in this view, uh, in and out, that is the frontal plane and it has two terms, anterior and posterior. And anterior means on or toward the front and posterior means on or toward the back. So anterior is front posterior is back. So for example, this is the 
anterior part of your head and this is the posterior the third plane is transverse plane horizontal plane perpendicular to the medial and frontal plane is a transverse plane it divides the body into two parts up and down and terms related to transverse plane are superior and inferior superior means up towards upper side and inferior mean down side um, the medial plane as we saw is right in the center of the body in and out and divides the body into right and left similarly we saw the frontal plane divides the body in two halves front and back but this transverse plane doesn't actually have any fixed position and it can occur at any level of the body so terms related to transverse plane are superior and inferior so to, again superior means above towards upper side and inferior means towards lower side or below side so this plane can occur at any positions and the transfer plane so for example if we have two body parts part c and d so c is superior to d or d is inferior to c for example your forehead is superior to your nose or your nose is inferior to to your forehead Now, two more words. They are special form of actually superior and inferior, and that will be used in our course uh, sometimes. And they are very important. These are proximal and distal. Now, these are two special words uh, for superior and inferior, and they are more commonly used with respect to long bones. And we will see the long bones in one of the following segments. so in simple word the superior part of the long bones the upper part superior or upper part in the anatomical position is called proximal and inferior or lower part of the long bones in anatomical position is called distal part or distal end actually these are two ends of the of the long bones so we can say the proximal end or we can say the uh, distal end of the bone the proximal end means upper end and distal end means the lower end so for example if we talk about uh, let's say our arm so shoulder joint the the part of the upper arm that is towards the shoulder joint is the proximal end and the one that is attached to the forearm is the is the distal end of the upper arm so in this case for example if we have this bone then e is the proximal end and f is the distal end so uh let's suppose we talk about uh, our hand so this will be for example proximal end and this will be the distal end if you talk about your for example uh, bone of your upper leg so that will be the proximal end of the thigh more specifically as i just told you that that will be the proximal end of your upper arm and this will be the distal end of your upper arm but with respect to lower arm this for example will be the proximal end and this one will be the distal end of the lower arm so this terminology is very useful as well so in summary now we saw that with respect to medial plane we have these two terms with respect to medial plane we have the word medial toward the midline and we have the word lateral away from the midline 
So you can say medial means inside and lateral means outside. And with respect to uh, with respect to our uh, frontal plane, we had these two terms: anterior and posterior. Anterior means on the front, posterior means on the back. And with respect to actually our transfer plane, we have two terms, superior and inferior. And special form of superior and inferior are proximal or distal. So proximal means upper end and distal means lower end. So just ignore what is written here. Just remember that proximal means upper end distal mean lower end. So this is again a 3D view of three planes. So this one is the medial plane. Divide the body in right and left. Frontal plane divide the body in front and back. And transverse plane that divides the body in up and down two parts. So upper end of the bone is proximal, lower side is distal. For this bone, this is the proximal end. For this passive bone, this is proximal and this will be distal. For lower arm, for example, this end will be proximal and this one will be distal end. Upper side superior, lower inferior. With respect to specifically hand, the front side is also called the palmer side. So this is from the word palm. So that is a palmer. And the back side of the hand is also sometimes called dorsal side of the hand. So with respect to foot, it will be opposite. So your palm of your foot is on lower side. So that is the actually palmer side of your foot and upper side is actually the dorsal side of your foot. In front is anterior, back is posterior, posterior. So in this segment we saw anatomical plane, medial, frontal and transverse plane and relative to medial versus lateral, anterior versus posterior, superior versus inferior and proximal versus distal and once again I repeat these relate to medial plane, anterior and posterior relate to frontal plane, superior and inferior respect to transverse plane, and proximal and distal are more specific to, to the long Bones, but they are special form of superior and inferior. Thank you very much.